Welcome back, Welcome back to Modern Fossil. We are playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Justice if you for are all. tuning in for the first time or you haven't tuned in for a while. Yep. I've never played. I don't play games. Darren yep. does. I know. He's introducing me to his favorite games, and I am playing yep. them without any knowledge whatsoever. Uh, and as we go along, we try to make it as entertaining as possible through voices, commentary, jokes, and just being sexy as hell. Yep. And That's you know what's sexy? Testimonies. Testimonies. Let's get to it. Officer Prince and Officer Bird had, had been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean... Officer Bird had gotten Officer Prince a present. It was something she had bought over two months ago. I should know because she came to me to ask what she should get for him. Oh. Those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Hmm. Yes, I see. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. Go back to examine oh, the no, witness. <laughs> Officer Princeton and Officer Bird had been going out for about a half a year. How do you know about this? <laughs> Every year in March, we have a training camp for us cops. Officer Bird was a rookie at the time, and she and Officer Prince seemed to hit it off. They got close, I take it. Close. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but I couldn't pay the deposit for the trip, so I didn't. But I heard, uh, I, I heard that Gant will give you fifty bucks 50 if you bucks. ask for it. <laughs> uh, Detective Gant, you Gant has been in prison for several months. <laughs> oh. If only I had gone on that day, on that day trip. <laughs> Date? <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say day trip. I don't even understand where that came from. Oh, and if we fuck up, we can we spray. Get spray. Yeah, yeah. What is it? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing, sir. Really? Anyway. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. Marriage? But wasn't the victim eight years older than her? What? You saying a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself, pal? What is this? Grade school? Huh? What are we in? The first grade? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant at all. Detective Gumshoe and Dustin were only a year apart, you know. Ugh. I think this fella has a ways to go before marriage. Mind your own business, pal! The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Yeah. The victim, Officer Prince, had just got off duty at 5.30 p.m. that day. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went to the park for a bit. Ah, I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. That's great, Your Honor. I'm glad you're such a cheerful, cheerful old man. <laughs> Stop. I mean, Officer Bud, I got an Officer Prince a present. You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because uh, I'm her boss and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. But even when she was going to... Was going to... But even what she was going to give us... I can only see one eye. But even what she was going to give us a present... Isn't that going a bit too far? I can't, I can't make you get a bigger shirt. You child. Wearing your, the same shirt you'd have since like middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I have this get, forever. <laughs> get a new shirt. <laughs> hey, pal. Watch what you say. You were in a shirt from when you graduated. <laughs> yeah. Which was in middle school. That's true. 
I know everything. I know everything that happens <laughs> under me. If someone so much as scratches their... I really don't need to know that much. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. I agree. Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant, <clears throat> that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Whoa, wait a second. Why are we talking about this? It's all your fault, pal. You're guilty. 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 I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about done here. It was something she had bought over two months ago. Over two months ago? Yup. She's a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A single glove? Why would she only give him one? Um, actually, Your Honor, glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove? Hmm. Ah, to press further. <laughs> Just now, I believe you said that the present was something she had bought over two months ago. Yeah. Are you saying she bought the glove at a store that far in advance? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made. Yep, that's what I said. Mm. So the glove was custom made. What the hell is happening? So the glove was custom made. <laughs> no wonder I really don't see how this glove is related to this case. Yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is really relevant to this case? Uh, um, I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be, but yes. Uh, otherwise, why would they write it? Yeah, again? exactly. That's my thing. I don't know where this will lead me, but bombs away. <laughs> of course, it is relevant. That glove is the key to this whole case. Yes! Bluffy to the max! Now this is the Mr. Right I know! I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'd take. This is great! <laughs> Pressing people. It feels like I've done this before. As if I used to do this to squeeze information from even the most tight-lipped people. Very well! If you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about the matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. And? Why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry and show the glove to the court. Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Anyway, this is it, sir. It's, uh, rather... Yellow, isn't it? Baseball, Baseball glove, glove! A birthday present from Maggie to, to the, victim. the victim! It, it was, was custom made! Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. And that's why he, you had to special order it? Yep, that's right. That, and one other reason. I think this court has heard enough. It is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Now, if that is true, it brings up an important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. 
Let's hit the gum shoe. Please tell the court a little more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. You're writing on the ground. <laughs> we first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There were also scratches on the skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Hmm, yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may correct examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Holy shit. Yeah, what a tool. <clears throat> we first looked into the handwriting. <sighs> But can you really determine handwriting based on a sample written in sand? <laughs> this is why amateurs are amateurs. We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Scientific investigation in this country's actually pretty good. Mm. I believe it's time to get back to the real point. Agreed, Your Honor. So, what's the result of the investigation? Fortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. So, in the end, you couldn't confirm it. Hey! Don't you look down on us! I told you! We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal! Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want with scientific investigation. I've never heard that before. Me neither. Nor I. I never heard anything like that at the police academy, sir. Okay, so I made it up anyway. Next, we check the victim's pointer finger. His pointer finger? You know, the one you're always pointing and waving around in people's faces? <laughs> Don't tell me it bothers you. Every time you do it, I have a mini heart attack. It's like you're trying to kill me, pal. In any case, you examine the victim's index finger, correct? Yeah, we figured there should be something on his finger if he, uh, had been writing in sand. Mm. And the results? I found that there was sand chopped up of the victim's fingernail. And what does that prove? Well, it proves that he did write that name with his own finger. Yes. Which explains why there was sand stuck under his nail. <sighs> I guess he's right. And there's more. There's also scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. Scratches on his skin. Yep. You can't see them with your naked eye, but they're there. That is incredible. Sure is. That's the power of scientific investigation. It's so small that we had to use a magnifying glass. Like, a really strong one. It's got that really scientific sounded name. You mean a microscope? Yeah, that's it. Uh, we used one of those, and that's how we found them. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Are you absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. Hmm. I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter with. Listening to this, you would think there was only one conclusion. That the name was definitely written by the victim. Don't you think that that would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote that message with his right hand, do you think I would have gone through that much trouble to get him his present? The present? What about it? Now let's take a look at the present. Take a look, see. Oh, yeah. Hey, the baseball glove is a birthday present from Mag and the Victim. It's custom made. 
And we can't look at it? No, I can't look closely at it. I'm looking, so. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's left-handed. So this? Yeah. Dominating this first case. <laughs> the tutorial. Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. It's a glove, right? Could you tell the court what is special about this glove? What's special? Um, never really thought about it, but uh, it's really really yellow uh, and uh and that's about it yes it's really yellow but that is only one of its qualities huh <laughs> there's another reason why it's <laughs> special i gotcha and what would that be it's very simple this glove is, I guess you could say, custom made for a left-handed person. But those don't exist. Left-handed? Why, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That's why it had to be custom made. I've never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale. Have you? Well, um, no. So, detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his... Wait a sec. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. <laughs> Overruled. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning approves. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh God! We need a judge. Get up to the emergency room immediately. When you think about it that way, then yes, it is not <clears throat> possible that <clears throat> this name was written by the victim himself. That means Maggie is. No, it's not possible, Mr. Payne. Yes, you wanna. The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. No! All right, you did it, Mr. Wright. I feel I can breathe again. It seems that we have reached the conclusion you did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? <laughs> ah, well, thank you, sir. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. I will announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant Maggie Burr. No! Not yet. Fuck you, Pain. I, I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. What is the mean of this, Mr. Pain? The prosecution is not finished yet. What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness to the stand. What the fuck? What? <laughs> and what did this witness, um... 
witness? The moment that the victim was pushed to his death! What's more, it's on the very face of the culprit! Uh, what the heck?! Order! Order the court! I believe a recess is in order. Afterward, we will hear from this new witness. The witness will be the victim, Dustin Prince! I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Hmm, I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. Woo, recess! Woo! Get fucking excited, Mac. We're going Yee. out to the fucking playground on the uh, uh, go on the swings on the slides. Hey, we can do a twenty. No, we can't. Why not? Because it's a twenty. That was an end. That's not a thirty. That was an end. We're halfway through the trial. Yes, yeah, so we do a twenty, then we pick up back up here. No. <laughs> Oh. Amnesia! I can't believe my lawyer is trying to defend me in such a state. California? I, <laughs> I uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you could fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Come on, blow your head a little. A maggot kick should do be all you need. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on! I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can, uh, fill me in on a few things? Of course. I'll be honored to. It all started with the first turnabout at Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, okay? It, it starts with you, uh, Phoenix Wright, as the lawyer defending Larry Butts with your assistant B. F. A. okay? Mr. Payne was, uh, the, uh, the attorney, uh, the, uh, the, was the prosecution for that case. Uh, but it turns out that a guy named Frank Sawit was the one who killed, uh, the victim and, uh, blamed it on Larry Butts. Now we go to the uh, case too and Mia's fucking dead, okay? And, uh, then, uh, Wait, who's Mia? No, shut up. Okay, and then, uh, suddenly, uh, Red White was the one who killed, uh, Mia Fey, okay? Uh, there was a girl named Mia Fey, May, but we don't care about her. Okay, and then we were in case three. It was a Steel Sammer, you know, that TV show that thing. Will Powers was accused of murder, and you were there, and he's like, hey, it wasn't actually Will Powers, it was actually Dee Vasquez who killed the victim, who the victim was trying to kill the bad, the bad, the person who said it's suspected. Okay, and then we go to case four, and I know, I forgot to tell you about this guy named Edgeworth, okay? He's the prosecutor, the prosecutor for every uh, trial you've done so far, except for what's the paper. He that sounds first important. One. Okay, and, and then but Edgeworth was accused of murder, and you decided to defend that guy right there. His name was uh, Miles Edgeworth, by the way, and we figured out that it was, it was, it was a guy named Yanni Yoki who killed the victim in a boat who was actually portrayed as an old man who uh, lost his memory in an elevator accident that killed his father! It turned out that Von Comer actually did that. And then we were in case 5 uh, where we got a whole fucking set of characters, like shit ton. Anyway, uh, Damon Gant did that one. Uh, you know, with the Gumshoe guy. Uh, Gumshoe mentioned him before. And that's where we are today! Well, uh, well, I have a few questions about okay. that. Okay, go ahead. Who the hell is Mia? And I feel like there's another major character uh, that's been missing from this <laughs> description. I don't know. Hopefully she won't show up. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we'll start with my name and then I can tell you about me. No, no, that's okay, really. I, I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could uh, help me figure out a few uh, things about myself. So, my name is Phoenix, right? What a weird name. Hmm, this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, and maybe it'll help. This is a business card? I got this from you! It's my most prized possession. You can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? Okay. There are some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. 
Phoenix's business, business card. card. It's, it's my, my business card. card. I, I handled hand my, my cell phone, phone number, number on the, the back. I guess for now we should stop talking about me and start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, can I tell you? Oh, um, hmm. I can't think of anything other than the incident with a cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah. Your eyes lit up when uh, we talked about it in the detention center, sir. Hurry up then and tell me. This might be very important. Okay, Roger. Who the hell is Roger? <laughs> oh, uh, that goes into the a separate case. A, uh, no, a, a, a case that was actually uh, in the anime adaptation of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. It was on the no day shit. of the time. It's just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone on the way, on the wall while, on the, uh, what? Fuck. Uh, fucking uh, I, <laughs> I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. Uh, we can meet up and I can give this back. Uh, I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for the person to show up, but they never did. Box. I can't tell if it's it's there definitely not you got to push it in push it in never buy a gaming chair never buy it never buy one push, the push it in you're such a child I just keep leaning back there you go. got it all right oh that's much better okay Ugh. Riveting content here. Give me a spray. Yep. Can't even operate a chair. Another one. Okay. Oh. Motherfucker. Motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> did that to me. Hmm. Me. Best. Me. Who the you. fuck I am? <laughs> I'm the host of the Mac Best Movie Hour. You know who the fuck I am? Faces on billboards on Hollywood Boulevard. I am Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, I am plugging my controller. But until then, you can be doing line. Fucking dipshit. Ah. I did. I said, hmm. So where is this phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is it a phone in my pocket? You, 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 you mean this? You think it has anything to do with a murder? I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up, I mean. Ah! You were here all along! You're so mean! I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up! And when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left! Ah! No, who. Who in the heck is this? Let me guess. I'm supposed to know this girl, too. Hey, good morning, Maggie. And good morning to you, too, Maya. So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Oh, what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right. It's Maya to the rescue with that ultra-decisive super reported evidence. Here you are, Dick. The thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. What the heck is this, a list? It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. It's kind of tough, but I managed to dig up some dirt. Looks like these guys are up to no good. Started making trouble in the neighborhood? Yeah. Got in one little fight and the mom got scared You said you're moving with the auntie and uncle to Bel Air? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> no good, as in... There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. 
Names list. A list of unfamiliar names and phone numbers. Members of the con artist group. Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me. Hmm? And where did you get this list from in the first place? What? Don't you remember, Nick? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday. Oh, is that right? These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found. Hmm, so that's where they're from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you. Um, Fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, my... uh, I have an itch. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright! Recess is now over! It's now Von Coma here. I've become a bailiff! <laughs> After my conviction! Please remain that I've fretted and return to the courtroom I'm a immediately! Change. Oh, oops. <laughs> Guess we have to get going. They can talk about you being old later, Nick. Uh, it's just luck. I guess I have all the pieces now. More or less. And all that's left is to put it all together. I'm not gonna lose. I can't! Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Get a better, we better get a move on to the, the next, next episode. episode. We're Modern Puzzle, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Make oh. sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, leave a comment, Peace. tell us some other punishments we can do. Stay sexy. We love you. <laughs>